Breaking news for all of you fans that do not know. Now, Ed Boon planned on using brutalities in the next Injustice game. And I'm going to be explaining to you why this is lit. Now, according to some data miners, they were able to mine some data from the Injustice 2 video game and they were able to find some unused assets of the game, which I'm going to be presenting to you here today. I'm going to be showing you three unused heroic brutalities and that's basically going to be the base of the video so now i want to say this here it's just like they are trying to get injustice together they're trying to get it together because it's a good game but it does not have that polish that mortal kombat has mortal kombat has brutalities it has fatalities animalities quitalities it has all of those things injustice is just simply a fighting game it doesn't have what mortal kombat have However, heroic brutalities could be one of the things that puts it on the same level as Mortal Kombat. So let me go ahead and present this to you and I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Here's a look at one of those unused assets. You can see we got Black Beetle. Atlantis is off limits. And we got so was my I believe that's Black Beetle or Manta. Allow me to welcome you properly. All right, so check this out. As you can see, Octopus comes up and shakes. Heroic brutality. Heroic brutality. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering why was he shaking? The animation was a little off. Well, of course it was because it's not fully finished and you weren't supposed to see it. However, an octopus can affect your nervous system, which is why he was shaking. So I did a little bit of research and this is what I was able to find right here. Check this out. Blue ringed octopuses can kill humans by biting and injecting venom. They bite when they feel threatened and since we're so much bigger than they are, humans are certainly threatening most small animals in the ocean that have stunning colors and toxics or venomous. So with that being said, him shaking was very accurate because that's what happens when you touch a freaking octopus. It will destroy you. Let's move to exhibit number two. I'm going to be showing you another unused asset. Check this out. Now, that right there is Superman's freaking laser eye heroic brutality. And a lot of you are probably wondering, can you actually be damaged by a laser without being killed? And the answer is yes. So they are getting very technical with the heroic brutalities. And that's a really good thing because it's just going to play into make sense. So I did just a little bit of research to see what exactly would heat vision do to you. And it's this laser exposure can have a wide range of effects, including flash, blindness, dazzle, dark spots, hazy vision, floaters, burns, and retinal bleeding, LOL. Of spectral interest are the hazards posted by visible lasers from glares and flash blindness and are from very high energy lasers. So with that being said, it's basically saying in so many words, you're going to be dizzy, you won't be able to see, whatever, which is how Superman was able to knock him out because of course he doesn't want to kill him. But the whole retinal anus thing, that's just hilarious. But I got to let me show you this other one real quick. This is Supergirls right here. Now this one, I have an issue with that brutality. This is the one I have an issue with. And the reason I have an issue with that brutality, I'm gonna show it to you one more time. Check it out. I have an issue with that brutality is because they're heroes. They're not supposed to kill people. So that right there can literally kill a human if it was done on just a human. Now, if it's done on somebody like Dark Side, he won't lose no sleep over that. But for a human, that would not fly at all so there is some adjustments that need to be made to heroic brutalities which is probably what's taking them so long so i'm going to be making more videos on heroic brutalities and kind of just going through the history and things of that nature but anyway i want to pass this question off to you guys in the comment section below do you think injustice 2 is fine the way it is or do you think they need to add heroic brutalities when i say injustice I'm actually talking about Injustice 3, so I'm going to re-ask the question. Do you think the Injustice franchise is fine the way it is, or do they need to introduce things like heroic brutalities or maybe an arrest mode? And I'll speak on the arrest mode in another video because arrest modes will be 
the equivalent of Mortal Kombat fatalities. So if you want to hear about that, like the video and say next video, please, so I can keep dropping these injustice videos. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit like, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.